Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine and today we're going to talk about your general hospital spoilers for the week of August the 24th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Please hit that like button because every time you hit that like button, it lets YouTube know there's a good video for so fans so you can be part of our so fam. We're 369 subscribers away from reaching our, our goal of 24K for the month of August. So if you can, if you have not subscribed yet, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Or you can also join because now we have memberships. So as a member, you get exclusive uh, videos that I, things I can't talk about on YouTube, as well as early access to videos. Our members got this video back on Monday or Tuesday, but usually Monday. So, you know, that's how, when I say early access, I mean early access. And so I would like to take a moment to thank Megan Maloney, Samantha Greenrich, Michael Pryor, Gwen Marie, Yvonne Todd, Penny Wiseman, Jeff Payton, Rebecca Martinez, Shannon Clark, and Casey DeGrenia for be, becoming members. Also, we now have Soap Fan merch, and I'm very happy with it because we got the two di different designs, and um, these masks are very breathable, which was ver is, is very important right now with the epidemic. Breathable mask. Thank you. Thank you for this. <laughs> and um mugs and t-shirts so thank you for everyone for just being here today and including my baby thank you for the flowers because i hurt my shoulder so my baby saw i was like in a lot of pain and got me some flowers some orange roses um and also i want to thank sheila uh barfield who sent the cash app donation thank you very much i kept forgetting to say it in my other videos so i wanted to make sure i said it this week so thank you, uh, Sheila, for the Cash App donation. And so that's it. We're going to get right into it. We're going to talk about your general hospital spoilers for the week of August 24th. Beginning with Monday, uh, Willow makes a terrible discovery. Julian finds himself in a no-win situation. Jason doesn't want to jump to conclusions. Sonny gets a call regarding Mike. And Olivia and Ned are anxious. Tuesday, August 25th, Michael has a theory Ava is relieved, Nina is supportive, Nell is at a disadvantage, and Nicholas reaches out to Spencer. Wednesday, August 26, Carly stays with Michael, Sonny gets the confirmation he needs, Chase gets a lead, Epiphany steps in to help, Willow finds comfort from an unlikely source. Thursday, August 27th, Carly tries to help, Jax reaches out to Jordan, Curtis feels responsible, Portia remains positive, and Joss makes a confession. On Friday, August 28th, Jax wants to protect Carly, Michael is anxious, Jordan is cornered, Portia apologizes, and Sam worries about Alexis. So those are your spoils for General Hospital for the week of August the 24th. Like I said, if you remember, you already got these spoilers back um, earlier this week. Now, um, let's talk about the Nurses Ball for a minute. You know, every year with the Nurses Ball, I fast forward. The performances are strained. Um, some of the actors have are good singers, good dancers, but the majority of them is very cringeworthy to watch some of these performances, especially last year. This year, they seem to cut the performances down a lot. It's mostly the regular drama that the show has versus, you know, pushing in one number after another. I think because this year, they couldn't do big dance numbers and stuff like that. So they just really scaled back. And they did the whole telethon theme. I think the telethon is was brilliant. It was a great way for... Um, them to not have a crowded audience watching the nurses ball and switching it to a tell I keep I hope they keep it as a telethon because every year the nurses ball audience gets smaller and smaller and smaller as you know they have to confine within what they can how many extras they can have in a budget and how many actors from the show they want to pay to be on the set that day. So the only thing I wanted to happen at the nurses ball was for Nina to find out that Nell was her daughter 
because the nurses balls when all of the secrets come out they teased and teased and teased because they kept saying you know oh the jeweler has a clue the jeweler may you know be able to you know get us the information we need to know and i'm like okay how many days have passed already and then nina still don't know and i don't know why your hospital has a history of keeping these paternity secrets and dragging them out forever. It happens all the time in your hospital. But we need to know. We need Nina to know now. We got uh, Nell cutting Brooklyn throat. I don't know how she can get out of that. Maybe Brooklyn hit her head. Don't remember who did it. I don't. I don't know. But I don't want Nell to go to jail and then. Nina finally finds out who her daughter is, and then they don't have no contact. That doesn't make any sense to me. So, um, no. Mm -mm. I I want Nell to get out of the same way Ava got out of shooting Connie, and Sonny gets out of everything that he do, um, killing AJ, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, let this be another thing that Nina, I mean, Nell is able to get away with. Because although she her good lawyer's gone, <laughs> you know, but no, that was a stupid decision. To me, no cutting Brooklyn's throat was as stupid as them having Ava kill Connie. I know the reason why is because you know they want to nip this. Uh, Brooklyn wants to sing story in the bud. Period. You know, you can't have these characters have these careers where they're always leaving town, where realistically, if they're successful, that they that they really wouldn't be in Port Charles. She would be out, you know, flying across the country promoting. In a, you know, same way you can't have um, Ned be Eddie Maine. So to me, cutting her throat means she can't sing. Means they can give her, you know, a new storyline. Um, Dusty will be there for her, especially since Dante's coming back. Um, to Lulu, probably. I can't see Lulu stand with Dustin if uh, Dante is back on the scene and still wants his, her to be his wife. Something's going to happen because it's a soap opera, so it won't be smooth sailing. You know, I, I just have a feeling that Brooklyn and Dante are going to get a second shot. I just feel it. You know, maybe Lulu can't trust Dante around their son. He'll have an episode or something. Whatever they come up with, I sincerely doubt that Dante comes home. Lulu so oh, bye Dustin, and gives him a hug, and, you know, life goes on. Maybe Lulu discovers she's pregnant with Dustin Baby. Who knows? But... I'm very disappointed in in the nurses' ball. I feel like we already knew Taggart was alive. It wasn't a shock. If you go back in March, in those February March videos, you said it point blank. Taggart's alive. He's not gone. He's still here. That's what Jordan's talking to on the phone. You know, it, it's 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 not a secret. The big question is, what are they going to do with Cyrus now? Since I heard before the quarantine that um, there was going to be a murder mystery, most likely Cyrus, and it seems, still seems like they're building up to that. So we'll see what happens, and um, I'll see you in the next video, and I'll talk to you in the comments where we can get all our thoughts out about the nurse's ball, and please don't wait for November sweeps for Nell to find out uh, Nina is her mother. Because the the um, the not the spoilers the uh, ratings came out, and all soap operas across the board are down. They've all lost, you know, so many viewers with these reruns. So even Days of Our Lives lost viewers. So I think for Days of Our Lives, a month of weddings was not what they needed during this period of time. Um, and before all the actors leave, and that, that's why they having their big um, shakeup over there. But during the hospital, you ain't got no excuse. You know, you need to come back strong, stop dragging stuff out. You know, 
let these secrets out and then move on to the rest of the story because you're hemorrhaging viewers just like Young and Wrestles in and Journey Wrestles lost like a million viewers. Golden Beautiful lost close to a million viewers. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.